What is your dream? Warning, this video is made as an educational material and contains sexual health content. A human body contains approximately 15 trillion cells. Among all these cells, there is only one largest cell, which is the human ovum, and is produced exclusively in a woman's body. The ability to produce this ovum is a unique and special characteristic of femininity. The diameter of the ovum is approximately 0.1 millimeter. Due to its relatively large size, it is visible to the naked eye without the need for a microscope. During the ovulation cycle of a woman within the ovarian cortex, of the few primary oocytes that progress to the next stages of development, every month, one ovum matures and reaches the fallopian tube. Similar to somatic or body cells, the ovum also contains organelles. However, as the primary oocyte develops into a mature ovum, it acquires certain special and unique cell organelles through the action of hormones. We will discuss these features in detail in this video. Unlike the sperm cells, which have structures for movement, the ovum lacks such organelles. Therefore, it is described as static or non-modal. The human ovum belongs to the alessithal and non-clidoic type of eggs. The term alessithal is derived from the Greek word alakithos, where a means without, and lekithos means yolk. An alessithal egg is an egg that has no yolk or only a very small amount of yolk in the cytoplasm. In the human ovum too, the yolk is present in negligible amounts. The term clidoic comes from the Greek word klydon, which means to lock up or to enclose for protection. The prefix non indicates the absence of such a protective structure in the human ovum. The ovum lacks a hardened shell, unlike the eggs of other terrestrial vertebrates. In birds and reptiles, the hardened outer shell of the egg protects the embryo, helping it survive the external unfavorable conditions during development. In humans, the zygote develops inside the female body, so the ovum does not have a shell. The cytoplasm of the human ovum, known as ooplasm, is rich in nutrient reserves. It contains proteins, polysaccharides, and lipids, which are stored in the form of small granules. If the ovum is fertilized, these nutrients support the zygote for its next and the first stage of development. Cleavage, a spherical and large nucleus containing chromatin is present within the ooplasm. Inside this nucleus, there is a well-defined nucleolus. In terms of appearance and structure, the ovum differs from normal cells. Hence, special names are assigned to the organelles of the ovum. The cytoplasm is referred to as ooplasm. The nucleus is referred to as the germinal vesicle. The nucleolus is referred to as the germinal spot. It is important to note that some of these terms are no longer commonly used in modern terminology. The thin cell membrane surrounding the ooplasm is called the vitaline membrane. Key events of fertilization begin only after a sperm cell penetrates this membrane. The vitaline membrane is surrounded by a thick, transparent membrane called the zona pellucida or zona striata. This membrane, composed of glycoproteins, is a protective layer for the ovum. This membrane, which is not present in the primary follicle, develops in the secondary follicle. Once a viable sperm cell reaches the nucleus of the ovum, the zona pellucida hardens, preventing other sperm cells from penetrating it. This process protects the ovum from polyspermy, the entry of multiple sperm cells, which could lead to abnormal chromosomal sets and developmental defects. The region between the zona pellucida and the vitaline membrane is called the paravitaline space. To prevent polyspermy, cortical granules released by ovum releases enzymes in the paravitaline space that harden zona pellucida, forming a protective barrier. The outermost layer surrounding all the organelles of the ovum is called the corona radiata. This layer is made of two or three layers of follicular cells arranged around the ovum in a crown-like structure, which is why it is named as corona radiata.
Corona radiata releases chemical attractants that help guide sperm cells towards the ovum. In addition, it also supplies the ovum with essential proteins needed for its development. If you find this video to be useful, please do not forget to like, comment, and share. Thank you. You have to excel in the education.